Alrighty. So, uh, today's video comes to you from Shanghai, China. It is about 10 o'clock at night, which is why it's dark outside. And, uh, try not to have the lights on too bright inside. So that's why I'm a little dark and crispy tonight, but that's okay. Um, also don't have my gaming computer, so we're doing this on the laptop, which means we don't have access to some of the cool, super cool spaceships we built in the past. So uh, we'll have to build something from scratch today. And I'm thinking maybe we build like a normal rocket and go to Minmus instead of a space plane, because it's easier. Um, and we haven't been to Minmus yet. So we can talk about, uh, review some of our inclination changes, we can talk a little bit more about staging, about the rocket equation. Uh, I'm also a little tired, so apologies for that in advance. Let's uh, see if we can make a 20 minute video without falling asleep and uh, maybe have uh, some fun and interesting things along the way. Could also do this video speaking Chinese. That I'm sure would be not helpful for my audience. Um, although maybe we, we could do the basics. We're gonna go to Mimus today. I don't think we'll come back. Maybe we'll save that for another video. We'll go to Mimus. I know I've said we'll go to Mimus before, but this time we mean it. Last time we accidentally ended up on the moon. <laughs> it's just a thing that happens. You accidentally end up on the moon. All right. So let's see if we're gonna build a craft. If we're gonna use an existing one. What have we got? GDLV3. What does that look like? That's kind of big. Not big enough. Is it big enough to go to Minimus? I don't have uh, a Kerbal Engineer. Spell Kerbal correctly. No, how about that mech? Nope, no mech jab, no Kerbal Engineer. Alright. I don't have any tools that will tell me uh, how far this bad boy will go. It really doesn't look like it's meant to go to another planet and back, although... Let's make it bigger. So there's a bit of a running joke in Kerbal Space Program. Want to go further? To add more boosters. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So we're going to make this first stage much bigger. Add some separatrons, a few bigger ones like that. Nope. Uh, let's put that guy on, put these guys on. Alright. Now let's uh, let fix the aerodynamics a little bit. Uh, these bad boys. Really big nose cones? Not big enough. Uh, bigger nose cone? There we go. Did, uh, I didn't come with engines today, so we'll have to add some more engines. Where's the big beefy one? Main sails? Yeah, that'll do it. Should get us off the launch pad pretty quick. Mm, it's too big though. Let's try slightly smaller. Yeah, it should do it. Alright. Now let's work on the next stage. Oh, you know what we could do? We could do some asparagus staging. Let's talk about what asparagus staging is. Okay, so excellent. So, let's set up the staging first, then I'll show you exactly what asparagus staging is. Laptop is getting very warm. It's actually on my lap. And uh, it's burning my leg. So, laptop on a pillow. Yeah. All right. So, we're going to fire those engines. Let's do all the engines at the same time. All the engines fire. Then, we're going to get rid of the white ones. Then, we should get rid of the. Uh... Oh. I want to get rid of, yep, those next, and then we get rid of that one, and we do it, okay. alright, perfect. So what asparagus staging is, is 
imagine these orange tanks are a bundle of asparagus. Um, and what happens is the fuel flows from the outside tanks to the inside tanks. Uh, and so what that means is as all five of these engines are burning, the fuel is only going to be drained from the outside tanks. So even though this engine in the middle is firing, its fuel is technically going to come from the outside tanks. And so what will happen is we'll use up this rocket, then we'll use up these rockets, and they'll all fall away. And we'll be left with still a full tank of gas, uh, or full tank of fuel, I should say, uh, in the center rocket. Um, and we can make this more complicated and get a multiple layers, and so it looks like a bundle of asparagus. So that's why it's called asparagus staging. Uh, it works really well in Purple Space Program, but in the real world, it's actually very difficult to do uh, because it's just almost impossible to move that much fuel that quickly. In Purple Space Program, you can move fuel very, very fast, let's say. Um, faster than one could realistically move it uh, in the real world. So, let's see, uh, what do we have on top of our lifting stage? Got a small rocket engine, and, uh, can't really see, I want to zoom up a bit, there we go. And then, there's really not much up there. There's a ladder. Where do we put the kerbals? Do we have, uh, kerbals? No, we need a place for purples to live. Um, let's put a tiny cockpit up there. There we go. Let's move it down a bit. Don't love how it puts uh, that extra little bit. Whoa, that's not what we want. Ooh. All right. It's a little confusing how this is set up. I'm trying to make sure I build this correctly. Is there actually a thing there? Where's the root of craft? That button. Okay, so now I should be able to move underneath that, right? No. Is there a probe core down there? Is that what that is? I think that's causing the confusion. There we go. That's our root part. No, not the root part. It's not the root part. Not the root part. But this... This separator stage. Huh. How is this supposed to work? Alright. Hmm. Alright, so if I assign the root to be... Okay, no, I don't want that. Can I make, uh... This is a very complicated, confusing spacecraft. Again, all right. All right. So this fuel tank is now the root of the craft. So I should now be able to take these things out. Okay, good. That goes away. I don't want any of that. I'm gonna take this off. There we go. And let's take it off from the layer below. Perfect. All right. Now we get rid of this. All that junk goes away. Much simpler. All right. Now we get rid of that junk. This on top. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. That's not good. My entire spaceship has just disappeared. Try this again. And no, can't do it. Can I do it? All right. Oof. That was pain in the neck. Uh, now we want 
put some fairies on. Big ones. Big enough? Yeah, I should do it. Alright, so the goal here. Um, nope. That didn't do what we want. Need to adjust the angle. Nope, I don't want any of that. Nope. Come on, I want to use the right mouse button. Doing this without an actual mouse is very tricky. There we go. Good. Okay, now we have an actual fairy. Alright, um, but we still need an engine on our doodad here. Got to put an engine on it. That's not good, Zach. That off. Let's put an engine in. Oh, the poodle should be a terrier. Terrier should be fine. All right. Let's try that. All right. So this is an experiment. Let's launch this and see what we get. I still have no remote control. Oh, let's uh, put a crew member in. Get that crew member. There we go. Now that we have a pilot, we should launch. Taking off quite as quick as I expected. I think we're also having some trouble doing both recording and uh, flying the spaceship at the same time. Let's see how we do. So, once we get sufficiently high up, we're going to begin our gravity turn. So, this spaceship really needs to take us into, into orbit and uh, a comfortable orbit. If it doesn't, because we've only got the stage above, doesn't have that much fuel. Certainly not enough fuel to get all the way to Mimitz and back. So we might need a transfer stage. Let's see how uh, how much fuel we end up with. So normally you'd have one stage to get up into orbit, another stage to go from Earth over to uh, Mimitz. And then you'd have another stage to land on Mars. But we didn't plan that well, so. Let's lean over just a little bit. Hope the spaceship doesn't flip. Seems like it wants to flip. So I'm going to be a little conservative here. I do think we will comfortably get to orbit with this rocket, though. That's good. Alright, those external tanks are going to burn up pretty soon. And those... Okay. Messed up my staging at some point. I think now it's fixed. Now let's tilt over a little more. Now hopefully we can get rid of these boosters any second now. Wobble, wobbling is not good. Don't want to wobble. Let's get nice and smooth. Starting to pick up a little bit of speed. Just good. 
as we leave the atmosphere. Still concerned we're not going to have enough fuel to get to Mimus Land, but we'll make an experiment and see what we find. Okay, okay. 73 perfect. Let's actually kill the engines. Post a bit. And so we're going to wait until we get right near the top, and then we will uh, attempt to circularize. We need to get about 2,100 meters per second or so. I'm actually not sure I did the asparagus correct. We'll see in a second. Alright. I think we're out of fuel on these bad boys. Yep, so let's keep those guys. Nope, we did do it correctly. So now we still have a full tank of fuel in this orange guy. Exactly what we were hoping for. And because we dropped the other tanks, uh, we don't have to carry the weight of those tanks anymore. And so, even though we have a whole lot less engines, uh, we can actually go quite a distance because the total weight of the rocket ship is quite a bit less. Alright, are we circular yet? Almost. Almost. 30, 40, 50, 60, 50, 60, 70. All right, good enough. So, uh, we can also, at this stage, I think, let's uh, do this correctly, can now, should be able to, there we go, ditch the fairings, perfect. Now we can see the rest of our rocket. Uh, although I think I screwed this up. Uh, I definitely screwed this up. I have no way to separate these two components. We <laughs> have one rocket. Well, we'll go to Minmus with that, and uh, we'll see what happens. Next time we can try and uh, fix this. So normally when you play KSP, you you know you build the rocket, you test it, doesn't work quite as you want, you go back and make some changes. But because it's late at night and I'm tired... And sort of just for fun. I want to see if we can land on my miss with this whole thing. We have quite a lot of fuel left. Um, ordinarily, I'd want to split this into two and just land the smaller part. But, you know, we're in Kerbal Space Program. So we do dumb things. So let's plan our transfer to Minmus as best we can. Let's uh, add a maneuver node. Oh, it's a bunch. There we go. Where is the planet? There it is. So we want to move a little bit. Oh, nope, too much. Okay, so let's do this a bunch. Da, da, da. Nope, 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 nope. Come on, come back. There we go. Alright, so we need to change when we fire. So let me move you. There we go. Something like that. Do we have an encounter? Nope, we're leaving the system. Come back in. Any second now. Very difficult to do without a mouse. 
moon encounter there. All right, let's try this again. Move, nope. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Is that a Minmus encounter? Mm, nope, still has us leaving the solar system. Back a bit. Up, up, up. I saw it. There it is. All right. That is an encounter with Minmus. Now we need to just tweak it a bit so we make sure we get really close. So I'll focus with you here. Let's see if we can get a little closer to Minmus. Nope. 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 Oh, I screwed up. <sighs> now we no longer have an encounter. Totally botched this. Nuts. What did I do? Normally, in a Kerbal Space Program video, you edit out this part. <laughs> This is sort of tedious. You sort of have to just guess. I mean, it's not really guessing, but it does take time and effort. And it is a, it's mostly just annoying. Especially without a mouse. My goodness. So we need to come back, 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 back. Yep. Where is that encounter? There we go. Come on, a little more. No, too much. I hope you're laughing and enjoying this. Alright, we're just going to go with that. And we'll adjust later. Alright. 27 minutes, 25, 24... Nineteen, eighteen, seventeen, sixteen, fifteen. So remember last time, the further away you are from your destination, the more a change in speed has an effect. So a small change in speed has a big effect on our destination at this point. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually I'm going to get wait until we're a lot closer. That way, um, it's not quite as picky. Uh, about being precise with the maneuver. I get there's a little bit more flexibility, um, but it just means it's going to cost a bit more fuel. But I'd rather spend a little bit more fuel and not have to sit here for an hour playing with the maneuver node. Um, so, it's all about trade offs. Alright, let's see if we can get this maneuver correctly. There's our orbit. We just need to get close, and then we can tweak things later. So, 40 seconds of firing the engines. I think we'll have enough fuel to land on Mimis with this uh, spaceship. Now, our goal, ideally, would be to separate these two spaceships once the orange one runs out of fuel. Now, because it's a video game, one way we could separate it would be by crashing. We could literally fly the spaceship and have just the orange tank crash into the surface, which would hopefully blow up only the orange tank and uh, leave the rest of the tank, the rest of the ship, intact. It's a bit risky, um, but if we run out of fuel, that, that is one way <laughs> we could potentially salvage the mission. Alright, there's an encounter. So now we're going to quick save. Hopefully. Quick save. There we go. 
and we'll speed forward time a little bit. Then we'll get a little closer, and then we'll plan our actual encounter. So, there's us. Alright, so now we are halfway to Midmus. Ish. Let's see if we can get uh, our trajectory a little bit closer. Add maneuver. So our goal is we want this line up here to be closer to the planet. So if we go that way a little bit. There we go. That's quite a bit closer, isn't it? There we go. I want to go in just a little bit. There we go. That's good enough for me. And even though we waited a whole lot, which means that we spend more fuel, right? Because things are less touchy. The 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 closer you are, the more fuel it takes to change your trajectory. Um, it's still a very small amount um, of fuel required. Because right? we're still pretty far out as far as these things are concerned. So it's not actually going to be all that expensive. There we go. Now our orbit is more or less aligned with the equator of Midmus. And uh, we're fairly close in. So, now we just wait. So let's just wait until we get um, uh, 11 days, 2 hours. And yeah, work it. There we go. Now we just wait until we get our time. So the spaceship is over here, traveling in the blue arc. And Miss is over here. So the spaceship's going to be moving real slow right now, only 15 meters per second. Which is why Minmus is all this time to catch up, because the spaceship's really not moving very fast. And now the spaceship gets closer, and boom! We are now in Minmus's sphere of influence. So let's do another quick save. And now the plan is when we get to here, we need to slow down a little bit. There we go, and we'll get into a circular orbit, just like that. Now Minmus is really small. It's actually way smaller even than the moon. And because of that, our speeds around Mimus are actually pretty low. Which means it doesn't take much fuel to orbit, doesn't take much fuel to land, doesn't take much fuel to take off. It's actually a very easy planet to deal with um, because of all of those things. Um, so when we get closer to the planet, we're still only moving 200 meters per second. It's not that fast. And so to orbit, we're going to reduce our speed by about 177, which means orbital velocity is 100 and change meters per second, which is basically nothing. So let's slow down. So we're going to move sideways a little slower. That way, Mimus's Mrs. Gravity can pull us in. There we go. And now, remember around Earth required 2,000 meters per second, or Kerbin? To orbit Mimus only takes 122, which is pretty tiny, which means that if we slow down by another 122 meters per second, we're just going to fall straight down. Uh, but we're not going to fall straight down very fast, again, because gravity is really weak, because the planet is so small. So what I'm going to do is we're actually going to experiment with that, or attempt that technique, right around here. So our orbital speed is 100 meters per second, which is not so much. And we're just going to go straight backwards, and we're going to fall straight down. Which is ordinary, this is sort of like the... Uh, the movie approach. This is how movies land. Uh, but uh, it's kind of expensive. This is not the correct way to do this. But, you know, video game, we have lots and lots of fuel. We might even have enough fuel to get home. Jeez. Alright, let's, uh, and now, retrograde, and down we go. Fall straight. Oops! Almost going to hit the planet. That would have been bad. So this is Minmus. Some say it's made of cheese. Some say it's made of pudding. I don't know. I think it's a video game. It doesn't matter what it's made of. It's actually made of anything. So wait until we get a little closer to the ground. And unlike last time when we did this, we had a not-so-powerful engine. And we had to start our burn way in advance. This engine is super powerful. So we don't really have to worry too much about nailing the landing. We have quite a bit of flexibility. Let's wait until we get kind of low. We'll slow down a little bit. Plenty of flexibility here. You can always decelerate way faster if we need to. We'll get to about 50 and then we'll let it coast. 
but no. So, yeah, so we're looking for a shadow. There it is. A shadow is a pretty good indicator of how far from the ground we are. 40, 30. Where's that shadow? There it is. 10 meters per second. Alright. Coming in for a landing. Once the shadow and the spaceship meet, that basically means you're on the ground. Land, nice and soft. Two meters per second. Let's see if we can land at like one meter per second or so. And touchdown! Look at that. We'll save. Got it on the first try. That was easy. And um, I think we have plenty of fuel. We can even get back. Um, I'm almost tempted to attempt the blow up the orange tank technique. Alright, let's quick save. Well, let's try that just for fun. Oops, we took off by accident, so that's not what we wanted. i wait for the spaceship to slow down now. Nope, not what I want. How do I quick save? Anyway. Let's land again. Uh, three, two, come on, you do it. Do, 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 do. Hit the wrong button. I hit, so I shift quick save usually lets you name the quick save, but the shift button also means throttle up the engines. <laughs> so that's why we accidentally took off there for a second. Alright, so we'll land and we'll quick save one more time. Three, two, two, one. Alright, there we go. We're on the ground. So we'll quick save again. Alright, now let's try and knock off the orange tank just for fun. Let's see what it's like. Alright, so basically we're just gonna crash land, I think. Um, wish I could speed this up a bit. Kinda slow. We have to wait for gravity to pull us down. You know what? While this is happening, let's, uh. There we go. There's our spaceship. There's us. So, what we're gonna do is we're actually going to watch this happen from outside. Alright. We get a little distance. Right, so why don't we get... Oh, we're going to go to the ground. And then we're going to wait for the spaceship to come and catch us. We'll see what happens. Just for fun. Hopefully the spaceship doesn't land and hit us on the head. Just in case the whole rocket explodes this way, uh, Jebediah at least won't die. Alright, coming towards the ground. Nice smooth landing using nothing but our rocket pack. Alright. And... Ah, oh, almost worked. It almost worked. We got rid of the engine, but the uh, gas tank is still there. Although, it still has to crash land a second time. So maybe the second time it'll get rid of the orange tank. Oh, it's going away. That's a bounce. <laughs> that is the bouncing rocket ship. How high up is it going to go? Jeez. It's like a basketball. Is it coming down yet? Nope, 206. There you go, now it's coming down. Let's get a little closer. We're moonwalking. Yay! Moon jump. Jump. There we go. Oh, here it comes. Oh boy. 
Is it gonna? Is it gonna do it? Is it gonna do it? Is it gonna do it? Yes. Oh yes. Let's see if that worked. All right. Get up, Jeb. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. There we go. All right. Go to the spaceship. Let's get back in. Let's see if the engine works. I don't know. There's still a little bit of that bit there. I don't know if that engine is going to do anything. All right. So we can rock the spaceship up and we activate the engines. Oh no, it's not working. Nuts. So the engine won't turn on. So we're stuck. All right. So we'll go back to the safe game. Well, at least we know we can get rid of the orange engine. <laughs> um, all right, well, going home is real easy. So uh, why don't we do that real quick? We'll just rotate our spaceship. Do, 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 do. Nice and easy. You can do that because there's no gravity. Take off. Uh, not no gravity, it's very low gravity. And immediately tilt over, and we only need 100-something meters per second to orbit the planet. So pretty much immediately point sideways. We only need to go high enough up to clear the mountains, which, obviously, not that tall. And uh, actually, is that Kerbin? We could just point straight towards Kerbin. How do we do that? We're going to go straight towards Kerbin. Uh, I want to go this way. Um, that way. Uh, roll that way. How about... There we go. There we go. Do that for a little while. And pretty quickly, we should end up on our way home. What is our new orbit? A little too high. Let's bring it in. Alright. We are now on an escape trajectory from Indus. Plan a maneuver to get a little closer to the surface of the planet. Surface of Kerbin, I should say. Which way do we need to go? Three, two, one. Rotate my view. There we go. We go that way. Nope. We need to go that way. Too much. Clearly too much. That way. There we go. How much fuel does that take? Not much at all. all right, let's keep going there. Do, 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 do. Four million meters. Two million. One million. Four hundred thousand. Three hundred thousand. Hundred and fifty. Hundred thirty five. Hundred twenty two is good enough. All right. Point in that direction. All right. Ten million, nine million, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one, hundred and forty, three hundred, two hundred, all right, good enough. Now let's point retrograde. Yeah, let's go retrograde. One forty, one thirty. All right. What is our periapsis? Is one thirty, one twenty? Let's bring it down to like. Mm, let's go fifty. Alright, quick save.
And uh, now let's go to Kirby. I don't think we're going to do the whole land on the uh, launch pad thing again. That was a lot of effort. Where's the planet? There's the planet. Also, we don't have wings. We don't have air-breathing engines. <laughs> We're coming in real fast. Let's slow down a bit. survive the first one. We might have to do that a couple more times. Actually, what I'm going to try and do is a powered descent. And so, um, I need to save as much fuel as possible. We're going to do a SpaceX-style landing. So we'll have to come around the planet a couple times. There we go. Because this time we don't have to open and close our solar panels, it's uh, much easier to just zip around the planet. Might have to do it a couple more times still. And around we go. There we go. Next time I'll do that in the map view so you can actually see what's going on. So while we're burning, you see we're slowing down a little bit and uh, our apoapsis is coming down. Alright, so this is what happens when you time warp real fast. You sort of go whoop. And down. I'm gonna try hitting the atmosphere sideways this time and see if that uh, slows us down even more. Hopefully nothing blows up. Uh, it's gonna blow up. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, Jebediah Kirby's dead. Aw. Oh. Alright. I'll try one more time. No more going sideways. That's our trajectory. Coming in at 50,000. All right. Go that way. There's fine. There's fine. All right. No coming inside this. Go that way. Do, 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 do. I toggle the engines there just for a second because I don't want to have to do air braking 15 times. Alright, it's coming around the planet. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. There we go.
and we'll see if we have enough fuel to do uh, a proper landing to get Jeb all the way back. Might have to do air braking a couple more times still. Coming around the planet and we go. We'll be coming around the planet and we go. We'll be coming around the planet. We'll be coming around the planet. We'll be coming around the planet and we go. All right. Do, 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 do. How quickly are we slowing down? Is the question. I mean, so this is what's called a polar orbit, uh, and it's named as such because the orbit goes over the poles. It's easy enough to remember. Normally, we have an equatorial orbit. Uh, and the reason we're in a polar orbit is that's just when we left Minmus, that was the trajectory we were on. No particular rhyme or reason for it. All right. I think this time we want to come a little deeper into the atmosphere. So we'll swing around to around here. So before we were coming in at 49, let's bring it down to like 45. Good enough. There we go. see how we're doing. Make sure we don't explode. Hopefully we don't explode. Please don't explode. If we explode again, we might have to do re-entry on another day. No, nope, not exploding. That's good. Slowing down quite a bit now. Uh oh, don't spin, don't spin, don't spin. Oof. That was a close call. That was close. Poor Jebediah must be getting a little nervous. Are we out of electricity? Oh, uh oh. That's why we started to spin. We have no electricity. Although, if I, if I start fire up the engines, we should get a teeny bit of electricity. Let's uh, do that. Should get enough electricity to spin around. So, when you run the engines, usually that will. Uh, generate a little bit of electric charge. See, it says alternator output, a little bit of electric charge. So, that helps the reaction wheels to keep the vessel pointed in the right direction. You might still spin. Oh, no, please don't spin. I'm getting a little nervous. I'm a little nervous. Don't blow up, Jeb. Please don't blow up. Don't kill Jeb. Please don't. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. So how do we get some electricity and not kill Jeb? Direction we go. Alright. All right. Hmm, this is a tricky problem. Normally you design spacecraft with solar panels to not have this issue. 
I think we're just going to have to use more fuel. Build up a little bit of electricity in advance. Just waiting for that to charge up a bit. Get to maybe 10 electric charge. Maybe that's enough. Let's go to 15. Let's see if 15 electric charge is enough. Alright. At this point, we need to point this way. very hard to keep the spaceship pointed in the right direction without using too much electricity. Down to 10. Nine. Please don't bend. 9.5. I think we'll make it through. Eight. Seven. Six. Yeah. Two and a half. <laughs> We're still coming down. When do we start coming back up? Yeah. One and a half. Oh boy, I'm a little nervous. Actually, I can turn on the engine to start generating some electricity. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's get back to ten. Nine, ten. Don't you spin. We're coming back up now, which is good. Oof. Things are getting pretty hot. We should point in the right direction. Five electric charge. I think we survived that go around. Four electric charge left. Oof. It's a little nerve wracking. Alright, let's, uh, let's quit save. <laughs> uh, where are we? We're getting there. I think we only have to do this one more time. I think if we do it once more, then uh, we can actually go all the way back down into the atmosphere and land. Alright, let's again generate a little bit of electric charge using the engines. Alright. 
We have just over 15 electric charge, and uh, in we go, back into the atmosphere. Let's see how much slowing down we can do this time. Fourteen electric charge left. Right, just stay pointed this way. We should be good. Getting really low into the atmosphere here, and we're going a little too fast. Starting to get kind of nervous. I think we're going too deep into the atmosphere. We're going to blow up. Definitely going to blow up. Oh boy. We are going low. Why so low? Way too low. Oh boy. We are not slowing down fast enough. Oh boy. Let me turn on the engines because we need some electrical juice. We are way deep in the atmosphere to be going this fast. Oh, this is risky. I don't think we're going to make it. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. And now the spaceship's turning. Too much turning. Uh, I'm trying to fight it. Up, oh, it's gonna come around. Not good. Not good. Not good. Oh, bad. Yep. Very bad. Oh boy. So the mistake was that we came way too low into the atmosphere. Let's fix that. Oops. Um, let's try just doing it without burning. Trying to focus. Alright, how low are we gonna go? 37k. As long as it stays at 37, we're good. Speed is dangerous. Thirty nine. Normally you have heat shields for this kind of thing. Thirty nine. Can we start coming back up yet? Thirty eight. Come on, come back up. Thirty eight.
seven. Please start lifting. <laughs> Any second now. There we go. We're getting there. There we go. And we start coming back up. Oof. So what I'm doing is I'm letting the electric charge run out. Anytime I need to move, I just turn on the engines a teeny tiny bit, and then they're rolling up the ship. And then I turn the engines back off. Just to keep us pointed in the right direction. Oof. I think we survived another round. I promise you, this is not always this difficult. <laughs> Heat shields really make this a lot easier. Unless we buy BY. NASA uses heat shields. Alright, I think on the next go around, we probably uh, go all the way in. Let's see how we do. Um, Alright, so. Quick save one last time. Let's see uh, what landing looks like. So we're at 32. Let's bring that up to 40. Seven, three, four, all right, good enough. All right, that button. Where's planet? There's planet. Flying this way. Let's see how we do. One more time. Not going quite as quick as we used to, which is good. Means the heating takes a little bit longer to show up.
How deep are we going to go? 15. All right. I think we're going all the way in. All right, so we're definitely not coming back out of the atmosphere this time, so we have to slow all the way down. Let's see how quickly we can slow down. Starting to slow down pretty fast. I'll feel good once we get to like 1500. 2300 is still pretty high. Still fighting the electric charge using the engines just a little bit to generate some electricity every time. This is another thing you can't do in the real world. You can't turn engines on and off. This is a, a luxury we have in a video game that I can just toggle the engines just a little bit. Then again, in the real world, you have solar panels. <laughs> so you don't need to do it quite so much. Alright, spaceship's trying to rotate a little more than usual now. Gotta start slowing down faster. Starting to get nervous. And I'm getting a phone call. Oh boy, don't spin, don't spin. And we're screwed. We're in deep trouble. Deep trouble. Oof. Good, good, good. No, no, no. Eh, eh. There. Oh, now we're slowing down real fast, which is good. Please don't blow up. Please don't blow up. Please don't blow up. Use the engine, see if we can spin us around. Eh. Nope, oh, doesn't want to spin us around. Well, the good news is we're slowing down real fast. We still need to flip the ship around <laughs> if we have any hope of using the engines to land. Uh, come on, come around. Spin for me. Alright, well we slowed down a lot, which is good. But I can't... I need to reverse the orientation of the spacecraft so we can use the engines to slow us down when we get close to the water. It does look like we're going to land in the water. Ooh, can I spin the engines this way? Spin, spin! can't reverse the direction. I know I'm trying. I had more electric charge, maybe. <laughs> Let's get some electricity that way. Now I'll try and spin. Spin. Nope, it does not want to come around. We are going to hit the ground. Go on real fast. Just need Jeb to survive. I'm going to use the engines just to generate electricity, see if we can spin around. Come on, spin! Turn directions, go the other way. Come on, come around. Come around, please. Oh, it's going to hit capsule first and Jeb's going to die. I don't want Jeb to die. I don't want all this to be for nothing. Well, sometimes Jeb dies. I guess that's okay. Yep. What can I say? We tried. First attempt at the spacecraft. We probably would put some heat shields on it, maybe, and uh, <laughs> um, fix that decoupling problem. So, there you go. That's Min Missing Back. Uh, I didn't promise you Jeb would come back alive. I just promised you Jeb would come back. So, they can bury him. 
Alright, thanks for joining another episode of uh, Zach Plays Purple Space Program.